As we start this debate on the third reading, I want to reflect on what we've discussed so far in this important piece of legislation. The House has considered a number of issues relating to this bill, and we will soon pass it over to the other place. Before we do, we still have an opportunity to improve this legislation and to stand up for the interests of pensioners. Even at this late stage, I would like to ask the Government to consider a series of sensible, helpful points made from across the House. Taken together, these measures could make a substantial difference to this Bill. Madam Deputy Speaker, the Government is breaking a manifesto promise. Parties across this House supported the triple lock in their manifestos in 2019. This is a question of trust. Breaking their promise on the triple lock is the third time the Government has broken a manifesto commitment in just a few weeks. Trust in this Government has fallen dramatically, and I'm afraid to say that its reputation is in tatters. Madam Deputy Speaker, we do understand the difficult situation with the anomaly in earnings. However, it is down to the Government to find a way to both protect the triple lock and deal with the anomaly in the earnings data. We've asked Ministers to take a few simple steps to address this. First of all, to be honest about the data showing a temporary increase in earnings. Secondly, to find a way to address this and maintain the earnings link. And we have suggested using an average rise in earnings over a longer period of time. Thirdly, if they are going to address this anomaly, to report back on the impact on pensioners' incomes and take a real interest in the difficulties faced by millions of pensioners on lower incomes. These, Madam Deputy Speaker, are all sensible measures which should be part of good governance of this country. We discussed this in some detail today. The Government has, uh, must be clearer with pensioners. However, there is no need to take this further today, and we wouldn't want to divide on a third reading. Trust in Government, I should remind the members opposite, is wearing very thin. Let's hope they will now listen to the House and to the public and to show that they are concerned about these important matters. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker.